We are wrapping up our In the Know series on pregnancy with the final step in your pregnancy journey, delivery. All you need to know to prepare for the day you meet your baby. Here's Dr. Jeffrey Thomas, OBGYN and Chief Medical and Quality Officer at Community Regional Medical Center. We are talking about what to do to prepare for delivery, a life-changing moment for many of us. So, doctor, talk to us about when a woman finds out she is pregnant and she's, you know, in that third trimester and preparing for this big life change, what should she do to prepare for delivery? Yeah, hopefully throughout the pregnancy, they've had the opportunity to have questions answered. Um, even though a lot of times in the first and second trimester, patients aren't thinking about delivery, I usually try to introduce them to the thought to kind of desensitize them for the whole experience. What is the number one thing you would hope that a pregnant woman does have knowledge of or comes into the hospital prepared knowing? I think that there's a lot of anxiety centered around pain management. Um, you know, people have heard stories about the pros and cons of epidural anesthesia. Everybody's terrified about uh, C-sections for some reason. Um, it's, you know, it's it's not a pleasant thing to have a, a surgical procedure, um, but I, it's just important that everybody understands that there are medical indications for a cesarean delivery. Uh, it's not the preference of the physician. It's not a financial thing. Um, it is something that is definitely indicated for the safety of you or your baby should you head that way. Got it. Talk to us about the birth plan that, um, you know, that's certainly becoming a hot topic right now. Coming in with a birth plan or having a birth plan, uh, one that is written or not written. What What is a birth plan? I think you can go online and um, I, I actually, the thing I like about birth plans is it does get patients thinking about uh, the shifts and turns that labor can take. Um, every labor is different, whether it's your first baby or your seventh baby. So the way I advise patients about the birth plan um, is it should be a preference list that allows you to communicate with your nurse and your physician what your desires are. Um, many times your physician that you're seeing for the whole pregnancy is not on call the night that that you come in. So those conversations that you have can be memorialized in a birth plan. The problem with the birth plan being set in stone is that when you plan for something and you don't achieve it, you're considered a failure. So I guess the, the worst thing that you can do is develop a plan that was so intricate uh, and so personalized that if you deviate from that plan, you feel that there was something that you could have done differently. Understand that most birth plans within reason are executed and most preferences are taken into account by both the labor and delivery nurses and the physicians caring for patients. So besides the birth plan, doctor, what else should uh, a woman and her partner bring to the hospital? What should you uh, pack? I think you should bring uh, hope. I think you should bring um, your education, what you've learned throughout prenatal care. Uh, and if you forget the toothbrush, your hospital will have one for you. So certainly if there are comfort things there, you should check with labor and delivery. I wouldn't bring too much, um, just things that will make you feel comfortable, most importantly, your partner and a good attitude. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, doctor, on this topic. Great tips for everyone. Thank you.